Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement where we are here for season two, episode nine of Lucifer. And I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Mom appears to have a plan. Whatever the long game is, her plan, I, 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 I can't figure it out yet. Aminadil seems to be in on some of it, but I don't think he knows the whole game either. But whatever it was involved, Azel's, Azizel, Azel's blade that was supposed to be buried with Uriel, but mom sent humans after it. And apparently this blade makes whomever possesses it want to kill people. Stabby, 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 stabby. But now Lucifer has it. It seems to respond to him. What does that mean? I don't know. And I will ask again, why can't we call sister and say, hey, sis, come get your shit. <laughs> Are there more than just angels? I'm thinking on earth. Lucifer went there willy nilly. Aminadel went there for a plan. Are there other angels on earth? Just hanging. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm excited to get to it. And I know you are as well. I didn't bring gloves with me down in the basement and I am regretting it, which is why I'm glad I have my big cozy comfy blanket. I've got my glass of wine on hand. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well. And you're going to remember if you want to play along, full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. Okay, if you're ready, I'm ready, I think. <laughs> Let's get to it. Sunshine, beautiful people. Was that Darren, Chris, and Hedwig? Mm -hmm. I don't need you to show me around the city. Of course you do. This is an exciting time, brother. Now that we're making Los Angeles our home, the city of... So did Aminadil officially lose his wings? Like, we know he was losing feathers, but did he lose the bone structure? So, like, he can't go back to anything? Oh, what kind of a tour is Lucifer going to give? Forget everything you just slept through. Welcome to Los Angeles, city of reinvention, where you can become whomever you want. That humongous house in the distance. The owner, he moved out here with just $10 and a dream. Within three years, he was running the largest underground sex club in the country. <laughs> Right-hand side over here, this follically challenged man, that's Sleepy Pete. Hello, Pete, give us a wave. He will show you the best molly in the city. Oh, will he now? To your right again, my nightclub, Lux. The city's crowning achievement. My brother and I are celebrating. <gasps> Where did he go? Why won't Amenadiel embrace this city like I have? Because it wasn't his destination. And this could be about more than finding a home for him. But we're here to talk about you. He needs an identity, a purpose. Well, anyway, her and Amenadiel want to get back to the Silver City, but it's not my home. It never was. And neither was hell. No, no, that was somewhere I was sent as a punishment, like the DMV, but less screaming. <laughs> I find that people make Los Angeles their home for one of two reasons. Either they're running from something or looking for something. Oh, and which one are you? I'm not the one on the couch, Lucifer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which is it? Both. Running or looking? Both. Lucifer, get out of the chair. Oh, come on, detective, it's been ages since I sat in a throne. That is a chair. And why is it right there? top of the stairs that's dean cooper the los angeles real estate tycoon yeah owns the whole block and most of the biggest developments in the city including the entire block that lux is on oh no man he wouldn't believe the deal i had to strike for my lease all completely legal if somewhat well let's say morally ambiguous so and who inherits the building lux is in now Ella, are any of these pieces here big enough to get a partial from? Probably not. Someone invented glue for a reason, right? You're going to reassemble all those pieces? I'm fairly certain there are people in hell being forced to do exactly that right now. <laughs> Maze, problem at Lux. 
You're leaving? And if I don't get there soon, may as well undoubtedly fix the problem herself, which usually involves knives. So Maze is still working at Lux when she's not bounty hunting? Mm-hmm. Or she just staying? Well, no, because she's not staying there. She's living with Chloe. We're closed. <gasps> oh, yeah, this is part of the thing. Are you the proprietor? He has to die. And who are you, lounging around like you own the place? Because I do! Actually do own the place. Lucifer, morning star, you're being evicted. Doesn't happen that quickly. Does not happen that quickly. My name is Eric Cooper. I've assumed all of Cooper is holding in assets. Lux among them. The Dean Cooper's son. The man just died. Brutally murdered, and here you are, scant hours after you were notified, divvying up the spoils. Looks highly suspicious. Tell me, Eric, what is it you desire? I want my father to turn over in his grave. Ooh, hated the old man, eh? Well, I can relate to that. My father's not on my Christmas card list either. Is there a Jesus about? And I saw your lease was written in lipstick on a stripper's thong. Mm -hmm. Not exactly legally binding. Question. If I were you, I'd leave. That's fine. This is a police matter now. Okay, they're losing me because there is no way this guy in the morning since his father has passed hours. This is your mother's doing. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Okay, I'm trying to listen and watch at the same time. He would have found the lease, gotten all those people over there, gone to evict, can't evict in a day. It takes months to evict someone who has a binding agreement. For whatever reason, we don't know what he's planning to do with the building. So because of all these timeline things, Things, look, I'm not following this. I'm not following this episode. I'm getting distracted. As you can tell, I'm getting distracted. Mom and I are trying to find a way back home, so why would she murder some human? That woman is dangerous, duplicitous. She had a hand in moving in, what, eight people last week? You weren't actually involved in that man's death, right? Well, of course not. Might be able to be used to our advantage. Maybe. Lucifer will agree to come home with us now. I don't think Lucifer can go home, right? Lucifer loves that place. And no human is going to make him give it up as long as it's still standing. Ew. That's poor choice of words. And that is how we do it. The body hasn't even been moved from the location. And Sunny Boy's already making maneuvers. And I'm gonna check this for Prince now. Great. No Dan put out a bolo. Hey, are you busy? I could use an assist on this case. Uh, Vice has me wrapped up on a bomb making case. I gotta rush back. Bomb making. Again, how convenient. Well, that's an interesting theory, but we don't have any evidence that Eric Cooper's the killer. <laughs> that was fast. How did you... Never mind, I'll meet you at the Cooper building. How do you know he's liquidating assets? Because he's trying to evict me from Lux and sell off the building. You're saying Dean Cooper's son is making deals just an hour after his father was found dead? Exactly. Mm-hmm. When were you going to mention that you're personally involved in this case? He did. He did, when he said, Dad, owns the block my building's on. I would never. Or threatening to tear his arms off. That happened one time. Or hanging him from a window. I solemnly promise that the man's feet will remain firmly on the ground. No! Or maybe not. Well, that was something. How is... He's still growing, groaning. Just to be clear, that wasn't me. Is that mom? Who leaps from the seventh floor? Is this really necessary? Why is he there? The balcony by his own free will. He was distraught. That doesn't make him a killer. And who is she? 
Christy, I know this might be hard to hear, but we have evidence that Eric was in his father's house. What did he write? What did he write? Well, I mean, oh, what was he drawing? If he's willing to do something as monstrous as turning me out of my house, then killing his father isn't such a stretch, is it? <laughs> oh, my left foot's trying to speak. <laughs> If this is about money, you should have called me first before taking that swan dive. Perhaps you'd like to renegotiate. Yeah, he would have bought the, the deals made. How could a building? sale be made so fast? Dean Cooper died yesterday. There's been a buyer interested in that for years. Eric's dad had it all drawn up and then just let it sit on his desk. So you made the sale as soon as you heard your father was gone? That couldn't block it anymore. The state wasn't settled. He couldn't have done that. This man, the person who owns Lux now, what's his name? Her. Charlotte. Eleanor Bloom. Eleanor. Detective, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hmm. I doubt it. Thank you. <laughs> You're Kevin Burnick. I am. Why? You come to take a peek at the legend? According to the docket, one of your clients is a known explosives expert. I need his help. But I don't talk about my clients out of court. I'm his lawyer now. You can go home. <laughs> Touch me and I will sue you so hard. Is he dead now? And I bought his favorite golf course last year and turned it into a landfill for medical waste. So you're saying this was all a multi-million dollar prank war? I'm saying I didn't kill him over a deal. You could have had him killed. I know your type. You don't respond to emotion or intimidation. The only thing that gets you going is a deal. Let me buy the building. What do you desire? Tell me and it's yours. I want everything Dean Cooper has. So what's her heart on for Dean Cooper? All I want is what was his, and then to destroy it. I'm a developer. I'm gonna knock everything down and then rebuild. I'm gonna build a mega mall. Ew, which nobody goes to anymore. Gozers get rolling as soon as my people finish emptying the buildings. You know, a murder That's still, um, can tie up the development for years. Yes. Bloom was right. Dean Cooper was making large off the books payments and hiding them from his company. With that, I'm going to return to Eleanor Bloom's office and get my home back. I'm not sure she's interested in selling. Well, maybe she'll change her mind after I turn her world into a sphincter loosening nightmare. Ew, Lucifer. I'm sorry about your home. I am, but you have to promise me you're not really going to hurt this woman. Maybe not physically hurt her. We can mentally do damage, though. We have to find a legal solution. Okay, so I'm on my own, am I? That's not what I... Uh, that is what he interpreted. <gasps> oh, she... Oh. Just walks around like she wants. Hmm. Hands off my client, officer. You're not his lawyer. The accused has a constitutional right to be counseled by whomever they choose. She can be my lawyer. I understand your confusion. You're very attractive. And I found that can also mean you're not very intelligent. <laughs> Good comeback, Dan. Good comeback. <laughs> Is it true that you know how to make bombs? That's what I'm accused of, yeah. Have you ever brought down a building before? I know how it's done. I need you to destroy a nightclub for me. You're not just destroying a nightclub, though. That's has more than just the nightclub and Lucifer's house in it. Hands off my piano. Hey, man, we're just doing a job. We don't want any trouble. Well, you got some now. You have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? Well, let we me did. show you. <laughs> This is not going to get him on your side, punk and girl. He, he will be even more determined to rebuild. Because you know he's going to find out she had a hand in it. What are you doing here? Well, I was going to blow the building up with C4. 
Mom, you can't. I know. My client is a coward. Very difficult to convince him to kill this many people. No, Mom, that's that's not what I'm... I may be able to lose this time. Oh, yeah, she heard. Oh, oh, doctor. Mom, this is my therapist, Dr. Linda. Doctor, this is my mom in a disturbingly hot body. Oh, no, don't worry, Mom. Dr. Linda's had a crash course in celestial beings. Only melted her brain for about a week. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. <laughs> so, you're, uh, God's wife, ex-wife. I prefer not to be defined by him. Oh, of course. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you for for all of this. Our relationship must give you a lot to talk about. Mm. I'm not telling you anything about our sessions. Dean Cooper made several off-the-book six-figure payments to you in the last few weeks. Those payments were off of his books, not off mine. Mm -mm. What kind of legit business has clients had their payments to you? Do you trust your fellow officers, detective? Mm, that's a question that's Chloe of all people. Think of me as a professional tempter. So whose loyalty were you testing at Cooper's company? As privileged information. Not anymore. <laughs> I just thought you'd want to know we got calls about some kind of an illegal party at Lux. Who's calling about a party at Lux? <laughs> like, who's gonna call? They're all partying there with him. They even got an ice sculpture last moment. Ah, Stormtroopers have arrived, everyone. Don't worry, I'll deal with the boys in blue. You are Party on. Blue, aren't you? The strippers aren't due for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> Party on. Detective, what are you doing with them? I can reason with him. This doesn't need to be a scene. I got it. Okay, guys, let's go. <sighs> Lucifer, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Turn the music back on. This place is dead. <laughs> Well, you heard the lady. Crank it up. What is happening? Lucifer, this is your home. I've always been on your side. No, I don't want to dance. No, no, no. Come on. You're the guest of honor now. Come on. Stay or should I go now? What has happened? What has happened? He really does love this place, doesn't he? Yeah. This place. <laughs> mean all of it. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh no. My son was right about you, Doctor. Oh no. You are quite insightful. Oh no. This is about more than me. I mean, do you know the history of sin in this place? It was a, an institution decades before I ran it. That, that crack in that mirror there. Oh, he's going to reveal a clue. Eva Gardner threw a scotch glass at Sinatra's head. Well, she missed by a lot if it's up there. Prohibition tunnels everywhere. Howard Hughes used to use them to sneak his mistresses away from his other mistresses. We have to go see Simon Hallbrooks again. I think I know who he had Cooper looking into. Well, I'm sorry, I can't leave Lux undefended. I really need your help here. Really? You know how I feel about that smile. <laughs> Where are you? Where, where, where are they? You don't trust her either, do you? I'm just making sure mom doesn't make the same ones. That's it. I'm protecting her. She didn't tell you who she was meeting, did she? So who do you think it is, hmm? Assassin? Terrorist? I'm quite sure it's no one so dramatic. <gasps> I did not see that coming. For what purpose? <laughs> Look, I know this is forward of me, but you want to grab a drink in my room? Where is your what what? Oh, you definitely shouldn't. I mean, I'm all for examining your innermost desires, but at least examine your options first. I'm working here. So with Lucifer. 
It's really your job to seduce her and report back to her fiancé's wealthy parents. You don't just tempt potential employees, Simon. You also go after potential spouses. Dean Cooper's payment started to you just after his son got engaged to Christy. Oh. She came from Nowheresville, Michigan, where they put cars on blocks in yards. There's nothing wrong with that. She stayed faithful. Well, you couldn't seduce her with your fake Rolex. Well, color me shocked. So if she didn't cheat, then what happened with Dean Cooper? I told the old man the truth. Even if there was no evidence of her cheating, he wanted me to make some. Oh. I photoshopped pictures of her in some compromising positions. Maybe she's not a cheater, but perhaps she's a murderer. With some serious motive for murder. The poor girl was just trying to find a place to belong. And you, you vile insect, took that away from her. If you ask me, she killed the wrong man. Ooh. Come on. I was pretty surprised when you called me. It was soon as I walked into that interrogation room, I felt a spark between us. So Dan would know that she's married, right? If he remembers who she is. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been a little bit gun shy about the whole dating thing, you know, since my split. I went through a bad breakup myself, honestly. I was in hell for what felt like forever. He did not search who this woman was before he agreed on a date. They must be discussing some evil, terrible plans and we must stop them. No, it's let it play out. Just to be safe. <laughs> Why is she chewing her whiskey? You know, I haven't really had anyone to talk about my ex with. And it feels really good to get it out. Not even in your improv class there, Dan. I totally overshared, didn't I? I? Screwed it up. Well, I suppose I do have some time, and you were fairly attractive. <laughs> what? Oh. Mace, where's your camera? There we go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just take pictures. Come on, let's go. I know where he lives. <laughs> my mother make out with Dan? <laughs> they're not gonna make out. They're gonna... <gasps> I know what they're gonna go do, Maze. Fine. <laughs> I'll report back. Hey, uh-uh. This is just, uh, an innocent date. I'm not gonna interfere with my mother enjoying a little bit of happiness. Follow them, Maze. Follow them. For reals. For reals? Where did they go? Is this really Dan's place? Forget the building. I need a smaller charge. Or say, one person. I thought Eric had been cleared of the charges. Oh, he has. Because we now know that you're the one who killed your father-in-law, Christy. Blah, 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 blah. I... No. No, I did it. She did it then. Christy would never... And, and the fact that he would... Stoop so low, I couldn't help myself. It's Eric Cooper. You're under arrest. No, I'm I'm the one who did it, not Eric. I think he did it. <laughs> Whatever we face, we face together. I don't understand. The one of you who didn't do it, you'll lose everything. No, we won't. Because we have each other. Now I sent everybody home. Thought I'd say my goodbyes on my own. It occurred to me that much as I love this place, uh, I can always build a new one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it mm -hmm. wasn't the walls that made it my home. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That makes this sort of anticlimactic. But Lux has been named a heritage site by Los Angeles County. Oh, good job, Chloe. You saved my home. Well, you'd still have to buy it back from Eleanor Bloom. I'm sure well above market price. Mm-hmm. Let me at least buy you dinner tonight to celebrate. I know this amazing steakhouse and the, the chef's an absolute artist in the kitchen. I mean, he's also a degenerate gambler and owes me a favor. She saved Lux. Well, Chloe saw that your home is a very important place to you. And you're very important to Chloe. People make gestures like that all the time. You just saw two people go to jail for each other. Mm-hmm. You realized earlier that home meant more to you than Lux, that you could lose Lux and still have a place here. Because Los Angeles is my home. Are you sure that's what you were really looking for? 
He's looking for a connection. Something occurred to me when you introduced me to your mother. Why is it that I'm the only human in your life who knows who you really are? Because I tend to break their brains. Because you asked me. Detective Decker has asked you many times. And I always tell her the truth. You could show her your true face. But you don't. Because he's afraid he'll break her more. Why is that? Afraid. Do you think it's because you might be afraid of how she might react? No, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Doctor, I don't really understand where you're going with this. I think you did come to Los Angeles looking for something. But I also think you've stopped. Because you found it? Because maybe you found it. Ooh. So who exactly is mom going to blow up? Bones of metal. Better show up. <gasps> Dude, it's only dinner with a friend. Two hours, two hours. Fuck that. No, <gasps> she gonna blow up her car. So obviously mom does not know her son very well. <laughs> if she thinks she could kill Chloe and Lucifer will go back to heaven. Can, okay, so fallen angels, can they go back to heaven with no wings, no permission? Do they have to have permission? Like how does, the, we have not been given any sort of guidelines as to how mom and all could go back. Mom's making a lot of assumptions. And they're all wrong. They're all wrong. So is Dan gonna remember he slept with mom? Charlotte mom, Charlotte, Charlotte mom. So like he didn't Google Charlotte, whatever. And no, like he investigated her murder. <laughs> he invested up to investigate her murder. Okay, this is not one of my favorite episodes. At this point, this is my lowest. Only because of, as I always say, when you're putting something together, creatively, when you're telling a story, the elements of your story, they don't need to be 100% right. They just can't be wrong because people are gonna point out when they're wrong and it takes you out of the story. And this episode, specifically has had so many just flat out wrong moments i could never really fall into it there were some fun parts yes i'm in a little maze at the restaurant watching mom seduce dan funny linda being at lux funny but overall this episode just made me want to hit my head against <laughs> but we have a cliffhanger Chloe with the bomb under the car and mom ready to pull a trigger. And the fact that mom is willing to throw, kill so many people in her effort to get back into heaven, Lucifer says, hey, that's not right. Sometimes, but Aminadel is totally fine with that. Yeah. I'm getting the squinty eyes. So I'm hoping those inconsistencies of um, iron themselves out as we go forward. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this episode because that's how I feel. Not a favorite. <laughs> We're halfway through the season. We're halfway through the season. There is so much, so much more to go. <laughs> okay, so don't be strangers. Hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. And as always, in the meantime, please take a moment to take care of yourself. Even if it's five seconds where you can stop and breathe and just feel your body, feel the air around you, center yourself, and then go kick some ass. Yeah, and then go eat some toast on top of that. Yeah, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time. <laughs>